I do not encourage or condone the use of tobacco or cannabis products. And if you're under the age of 18, you can go ahead and get out of here right now. All right, y'all. I'm about to get my wisdom teeth out. So this is going to be day one, hour six of uh, having no nicotine. Um, I haven't had any nicotine since about nine o'clock last night. And it's about 7 o'clock in the morning right now, but I can't have uh, nicotine for 72 hours after I get my wisdom teeth removed, and I'm not getting any nicotine patches or anything like that. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be three days without smoking, and uh, it's going to be not a lot of fun. But uh, right now, I'm not feeling too bad. I just feel like I want uh, a Siggy, but it's it's not too bad at all. It's, it's definitely manageable, i got to be completely honest with y'all. Alright y'all, so it's, I just got my wisdom teeth out, it's been about an hour. I've got gauze in my mouth, I'm not gonna show y'all cause I don't have to open my mouth. It, it's not bad, it's been, right now, it's been about 12 hours without nicotine. 12 hours of 72, so I've got about 60 hours left without nicotine. I'm not getting any nicotine patches or anything cause I'm sticking to the video. What are your thoughts? Can I make it through 72 hours without nicotine? Yes you can. All right, yeah, I've got that. And thank you for the encouragement. I appreciate it. I'm just going to be videotaping and uh, talking about it a little bit, but I have faith that I can fully do it. I have faith. I bought some vapes because I was thinking for some reason that I could vape, but that's probably a really bad idea, so I'm not going to vape. Yeah, no complaints from me. I'm just going to be chilling for the next two days and uh, looking forward to the buzz. Looking forward to the buzz after three days. Let me tell you what. So uh, currently about 1.30, I apologize, I have guys in my mouth, it's really hard for me to talk right now because I feel like I'm going to throw up every time I try to talk. It's getting a little bit harder, um, definitely, I'm going to stick to it, I'm not going to smoke, but it's getting pretty difficult, I'm feeling kind of out of it. Probably also because they gave me, um, fentanyl for what they knocked me out with, but uh, that's probably why I'm feeling kind of wonky. I think I can definitely do three days but it's probably going to be very, very difficult. Um, overall though, I'm just enjoying the day. I'm feeling great, gonna be eating some ice cream later. Got me a smoothie, some chocolate smoothie. And uh, yeah, it's a beautiful day. You know what I'm saying, it's a beautiful day. Look at the green, look at the green back there. It's beautiful, it's beautiful. I think I'm gonna update y'all probably around like five, six o'clock. That's probably when the pain medication will wear off. So I'll let you guys know how I feel then, you know what I'm saying? It's about 5.30 right now. I haven't had any nicotine since, as said, 9 o'clock last night. And honestly, it's not going too bad. I've been satisfying my cravings by eating uh, some smoothies and enjoying some ice cream and stuff like that. Um, I took my gauze out because, honestly, I'm fine. Um, I haven't taken any pain medication um, yet. They gave me hydrocodone, which I don't want to take. I'm very scared of opiates. I don't want to get addicted to opiates. I'm already addicted to smoking, so I have no reason to get addicted to anything else currently. So I'm trying to avoid taking my pain medication if I can. I took some ibuprofen earlier, and I'm feeling perfectly fine. But overall, smoking cigarettes, I think quitting three days, I think it's not going to be that hard today. I think it's going to get really difficult tomorrow. Um, apparently when I was a bit loopy after I got out, I was asking the nurse in front of my parents <laughs> and my girlfriend if I could use nicotine patches, and uh, she said it wasn't a good idea. So I'm not going to even try nicotine patches. I'm going to try to go full quit for the full three days until I'm good. 72 hours, as she said. As said, though, I think tomorrow is going to be a very, very difficult day. I guess we'll find out, you know what I'm saying? I guess we'll find out. Alrighty y'all, it's about 8 o'clock, 8.30 now, almost 9 o'clock, and it has been a rather long day. I've still got the general anesthesia in my uh, face right here, but not on this side luckily. What do you think though? Am I doing a good job not smoking? Doing a good job! I'm glad it's to hear, I'm glad to hear. how long? It's been like... Almost 24 hours. Yeah. Yeah. So... And you haven't even, like, it's funny, well actually, you talked about it, or like when you first like, woke up, mm -hmm. you asked when you could smoke cigarettes but you haven't even talked about cigarettes all day so. now i feel like i'm doing really good i feel like tomorrow is going to be a little bit more difficult but i have my hopes up i feel like if i tell myself it's going to be difficult it's going to be difficult so i'm going to tell myself it's going to be easy and then i'm going to go with that so hopefully fingers crossed it's easy cross your fingers for me please it'll be fine it'll be fine all right bet bet 72 hours almost 24 hours done so far and uh looking good you know what i'm saying looking good look forward to day two in 10 seconds you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying all right y'all it is day two i had my wisdom teeth out for about 24 hours now 
Um, so I've got about 48 hours to go. I, feel, I literally woke up wanting a cigarette, but I don't feel like I really want a cigarette anymore. Uh, granted, I'm not, now I'm saying that I kind of want one. I think the main thing keeping me through, keeping me going um, through this, through these uh, three days of not being able to have any cigarettes, are um, knowing that I'm gonna have a big ass buzz. Uh, oh, excuse me, when I uh, when I start smoking again. So um, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, but I don't think that today will to be too hard. I know I was saying yesterday that it was gonna be really hard, but uh, I guess we'll find out to be honest. And uh, yeah, I'll update y'all if I want a cigarette or if I don't want a cigarette or anything, basically, if I start hurting any or basically anything that happens, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So it is currently about two o'clock. I am starting to crave a cigarette. As I said, it's been 24 hours since my procedure, over 24 hours now. I'm not doing too bad. I'm not doing too bad. My teeth feel fine. It's uh, it's, uh, it's hurting a bit on this side because I had one removed up here, one removed down here, as I said. But I'm um, starting to crave. So I think I can just avoid the cravings by eating some candy or something like that. So I think I'm going to go get a smoothie or something like that and enjoy that because um, I don't want to get dry socket. That's what's going to happen if I smoke and that's why I can't smoke for the next uh, two days. Not too hard today, but I'm definitely just trying to keep my mind off the cigarettes. You know what I'm saying? Uh, probably going to update y'all one or two more times today and, uh, and I'll see y'all in day three. You know what I'm saying? It is getting a bit more tough. I will be completely honest with y'all. The urge to have a cigarette is quite a bit more not really because I want to smoke a cigarette, because I actually really don't want to smoke a cigarette. I just want some nicotine, and I'm very, very close to going and getting some nicotine patches, but I'm not going to do it. Basically, my teeth really, really hurt, but um, it's uh, getting much harder to to quit uh, or, or to stop smoking kind of thing. Not really because I, I have the urge to actually smoke, but because I just feel so out of it. It's not even because of... Uh, I'm, I haven't taken any of the actual medicine. I'm supposed to be taking for my wisdom teeth yet. I've just been taking ibuprofen all day. And I just have felt so out of it all day, even though I've been eating completely normally. I ate some Chick-fil-A earlier. I had like a thing of Jello. I had um, a smoothie earlier. So I've been eating completely normal, just as I normally do. In fact, I've probably been eating more than I usually do. Yet, uh, I still feel so out of it kind of thing. And I feel like that's really the killer. I don't feel like myself right now. I feel like that's really the killer with... Uh, a cigarette and nicotine addiction as a whole. And granted, it's part of my routine. Right now, my routine has kind of changed up a little bit because um, I'm like, I had surgery, so my routine really isn't affecting me too much, um, which is nice. But the uh, just the wanting to feel like myself, wanting to feel like myself when I have nicotine is the, the real killer right now. That's what's really killing me, and I apologize for the wind. Hopefully, you guys can't hear any of that. But it's the real killer right now, and that's what's really killing me. So I think it'll be fine. Hopefully, goes well. Fingers crossed, not planning on smoking, not planning on getting any nicotine patches, but I do really want to feel like myself. But this makes me even more excited to feel like myself in about a day and a half when uh, I get to actually smoke a cigarette because I don't have to deal with uh, dry socket anymore because that's the reason why I can't smoke. The reason is because it's a uh, dry socket which basically dries out the uh, hole where the tooth came out of, where the wisdom tooth came out of, and it makes it even more painful. So they highly recommend, it's not required that you don't smoke, but they highly recommend you don't because they said it would hurt so much. And I looked it up and people say it hurts a lot. So I do not want to do that because I don't feel like being in any more pain than I already am. But uh, yeah, uh, I hopefully it'll go well. I don't think there'll be any issues. I just want to feel like myself and I, I haven't felt like myself for the last six to eight hours. But um, yeah, shouldn't be too bad. I guess we'll have to see. Alrighty, so it is currently about 7 o'clock, and uh, I'm feeling fine, honestly. I popped a little bit of a uh, CBD uh, edible, um, and uh, I'm feeling very chill. It's honestly helping quite a bit. I know a couple of my friends who have quit cigarettes were talking about how much CBD helped them and how much it made it easier. Honestly, I see why. Frankly put, I did not feel like myself before I took it kind of thing. But now I actually feel like somewhat like myself, and I actually feel great. And the, the nice thing is, is that... Um, I haven't had to take any of my medicine for my wisdom teeth or anything. I've just been taking ibuprofen as said and uh, to be honest, I'm feeling fantastic. I'm feeling great right now besides the fact that I can't eat um, food, uh, real real food tonight. I ate some uh, chicken nuggets earlier, um, but I can't eat really any real food because um, I'm afraid it would hurt me. So I'm probably just going to eat some jello and a smoothie for dinner or something like that, but it's not going to be too bad. But overall, my, my second day without nicotine, really, it's not gone that bad. It's been a lot easier than I thought it would. I predicted yesterday that this was going to be the hardest day, and I predict that tomorrow will be the hardest day, because tomorrow I'm going to have 24 hours left, so I would bet that within three days it's going to be extremely, extremely difficult. But I think that I'm doing pretty good right now. I'm pretty damn happy uh, with how I'm doing. I haven't really, for the last two hours, I haven't really even thought about cigarettes up until the point when I recorded this clip. 
Um, and honestly, I think that if I wasn't recording this, no offense y'all, it'd be a bit easier to actually uh, quit, um, frankly put, because I wouldn't be thinking about it at all. I'm thinking about it right now because I'm trying to talk to y'all about it, talk to y'all about my experiences with quitting and all of that. But it actually, in my opinion, I think it would make it a little bit harder. I think when I do officially try to quit cigarettes, I'm just not going to record it at all. And I'll just make a video about it a couple weeks afterwards, because I think that'll just make it harder to quit. Uh, but of course, right now, I'm not quitting cigarettes. I'm just quitting it for three days because I don't want to get dry socket for my wisdom teeth. Overall, not bad at all. Cannot complain. And I uh, hope y'all are enjoying the video so far, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I think I'm probably going to uh, go chill, go watch some TV, go watch some YouTube, maybe edit a couple videos, and uh, have a great rest of my night. You know what I'm saying? Alright, y'all. So this is 48 hours, uh, day three into quitting cigarettes for three days. Well, I guess it's not really day three because it's 48 hours because it was 24 hours yesterday and then it's 48 hours today, so I guess it's technically day two. But it feels like day three because I haven't had a cigarette since the day before I had my wisdom teeth out, but whatever, that's besides the point. It's 48 hours since then. I've got technically one more day left until I can smoke and I dreamt about cigarettes last night. So that's not really a good sign, I gotta be completely honest. Um, I had a great, great dream. I don't really remember my dreams very well usually, but I had a dream that I was walking on like an ice lake, and like there was a, a there was like for some reason there was a gas station on the ice lake, and they sold Marlboro Southern Cut hundreds, and I was like, you know, this stuff is gas, and so I was like, I bought the I bought the Marlboro Southern Cut 100s, and then they also had like really nice lighters there. So I bought one of the really nice lighters, and then it was like a couple that was running the gas station. And they only really, they didn't really have that many cigarettes. They only really sold like Marlboro Sun Cuts, and then they had like Dunhills and stuff, like really high quality stuff. Like literally a dream come true type of stuff. And like, um, I bought it, and then they threw in like a free bag too, because they were like, oh, you're going to need something to carry your lighter and your cigarettes, because you, you don't really have... You're wearing, you're wearing pants, but you don't really have a coat on or anything. And I was like, okay, cool. Thank you very much, my man. And, um, and then the guy, he whipped out, like, a polisher, and he polished the lighter. And I don't mean it was, like, one of those, like, fancy, like, really cool, like, 1960s lighters. Like, not a Zippo, but it was still, like, really cool. And I was like, oh, my God. And then I woke up, and then I dreamt that I told my girlfriend about the dream as well. And I know I'm not dreaming right now because I'm talking to you guys right now, but I just thought it was the funniest thing in the world, and that was a good-ass dream, but... Um, hopefully that's not a sign that today will be hard. Hopefully that's not a sign that today will be hard if I was dreaming about cigarettes. So, um, that's pretty amusing though, I gotta be completely frank. It was a, a very good dream, and, uh, very funny. I will be completely honest with y'all. But, uh, overall, I think today, uh, it has, has it been hard so far? Well, I just woke up, so no. Um, do I think it will be hard? Uh, possibly? I'm hoping it won't. I've only got 24 hours left until I can smoke again. So I'm really, really hoping that it is not particularly difficult. That's the hope, at least. But I'm thinking that today might be the hardest day because um, I've heard that the third day with getting your wisdom teeth out is the most painful. And so I'm thinking that that's going to be today. I'm going to be wanting the most cigarettes, and today is going to be the most painful. But fingers crossed. It'll... Finger, fingers crossed, it'll be all good. Don't really want a cigarette right now. Although, now that I say that, I do, but whatever. Um, and uh, this is hurting a little bit, so I think I'm going to go get up. Uh, it's swelling a little bit as well since I woke up. I think because I'm talking. I think I'm going to get up. I think I'm going to go eat some jello, take some ibuprofen. Hopefully, go chill, edit some videos, and uh, enjoy the rest of my day. But yeah, I think that's the plan for today. And uh, it's not too hard right now. It's not too hard, luckily. Oh man, this is getting to be, I just realized, this is getting to be a really long video, I just realized, but it is what it is. Alrighty y'all, so it is currently uh, 12 o'clock, um, I've woken up a little bit more, but this is, I have to say, this already has been the hardest day so far for quitting cigarettes. I really want one, really badly, I don't feel like myself at all, and I feel like the only cure to feeling like myself is to smoke a cigarette. And so it's been very challenging. My tooth, my teeth don't even feel that bad kind of thing. I took some ibuprofen, I ate some jello, whatever. I, I feel fine with that. But it's just the fact that I don't feel like myself that really sucks. So hopefully I'm feeling better after I get some more food in my system. I'm going to go get some protein, go get some chicken, I think. Eat that. I'm going to chew it very, cut it up very small and then eat it like that. Um, so hopefully I can get some protein in my system, feel a little bit better after that. So I think I'll update y'all after that. But this is... Alrighty, I've only been awake for like four hours, and uh, this has already been the hardest day of the last three days, or last two days, or whatever. 
So, it is what it is. Alrighty, y'all. It is currently about 4.30 in the afternoon. Um, it's been a couple hours since I've updated y'all, of course. I did want to show y'all one thing. These are my teeth I got from my wisdom teeth. It's a little bit windy out here, so I do apologize. But these are pretty gross, if I do say so myself. Uh, they're pretty big. But uh, glad to have them out, so I don't have to deal with that anymore. As predicted, though, yesterday, this has been the hardest day so far to quit cigarettes. Um, not the hardest day for my wisdom teeth. They actually told me that this would be the hardest day. I would actually say the first day was my hardest day so far, at least. And I do apologize for the wind noise, of course. But um, so far, this has been the hardest day for me quitting cigarettes so far. I've wanted nothing, and I, I, I mean literally, I've wanted nothing but a cigarette all day. I felt better for a little bit because I ate some protein, but now I'm just kind of feeling not like myself again, and I just feel out of it, and I feel like the only thing I can solve my, my, the way of my feeling right now is by well having a cigarette. It's very tough. I'm not going to break, though. I'm going to be very certain on that. Uh, I've already done 48 hours, so I can do 72. Um, I've got like, what, 12 more hours left, so I can do this. And yeah, well, I'm looking forward to uh, actually being able to accomplish this because I'm fully planning on accomplishing this. And um, it's just very difficult. I don't feel like myself at all. I feel super out of it. I would not feel good driving right now because I feel that out of it because I've been eating fine. I've been drinking fine. I've, I've been doing all that fine, but I just feel so out of it because I haven't had a, I haven't had a cigarette. I would not feel safe driving right now. Maybe that's just me though. Overall, not too bad, but certainly, certainly not too great either. I'm just glad I haven't had any physical stuff. Like I've had, I haven't had any like migraines or that soreness or achiness. I have noticed that I'm really tired all the time though. I have noticed that I'm super, super tired all the time. And I think that's because the, the cigarettes are constantly making me wake up and stuff like that. Whereas when I'm not smoking, I'm not constantly like being awake and awake and awake and awake kind of thing. I'm just kind of going down throughout the day. So I have noticed I do feel a lot more tired, but maybe that's just me. But overall though, not too bad. Um, just looking forward to tomorrow when I can actually have a cigarette. Looking forward to tomorrow when I can actually have a cigarette, y'all. So let me tell you what, I am excited. I am excited. Let me tell you what, y'all. You know what You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'll probably update y'all in a couple hours. You know what I'm saying? It looks like it's going to rain, so I'm going to go inside, play some GTA, and uh, enjoy the rest of my day and try not to smoke a cigarette. You know what I'm saying? All right, y'all, so it's about five, almost six o'clock. It's only been about an hour since I, I last talked to you guys, and it's getting even more difficult. I just am so out of it. I don't feel like myself at all. I just I just don't feel good. Um, I feel fine, honestly. My, my teeth feel great, a bit rosy kind of thing, but it's fine. I haven't taken any ibuprofen lately. The pain isn't bad, but just the no nicotine is killing me. I just feel absolutely horrible and I don't feel like myself and I feel just out of it like I wouldn't trust myself to to go drive right now right now kind of thing because I just don't feel like myself at all and I just feel so out of it I feel dehydrated even though I just went and chugged some water and I've been drinking water all day so that's not like I'm dehydrated I've been eating uh, food normally so it's not like I eat that but I just I just feel so out of it and I just don't feel like myself and um, I would have expected the first and second day to have been the hardest for quitting nicotine, but I see what everybody means now, that the third day is the hardest, which is even more scary kind of thing. It's even more scary that it's the third day that's the hardest, not the first day, because then you don't have to deal with the hardship the first day, because if you do you have to deal with the hardship the first day, that's easy. The hardship on the third day, then you've already made your whole day's progress, and then you're like, oh man, I've got to go back, but it's difficult. It is what it is, so I'm gonna keep at it, keep going, make it to 72 hours. That's the goal. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna do it. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling amazing now. I'm feeling amazing. I'm still feeling kind of out of it. I'm still feeling kind of like I want a cigarette kind of thing. Still feeling like I need one kind of thing. Of course, I think that would be lasting for a couple weeks from now, which I think would be very challenging for me if I was really trying to quit right now. But I also feel way more in it kind of thing. I feel more like myself than ever kind of thing, which is great because, uh, and I, I ate some pizza. I ate literally a whole pizza. I drank like two cups of water. I feel amazing right now. Um, and I think that's why, I think the reason I was feeling so out of it was also, was not only because I, I haven't had any nicotine and I'm going through nicotine withdrawals right now, but, 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 
but it was also because I hadn't really eaten anything with any sustenance. Granted, pizza doesn't have any sustenance either, but it has more sustenance than like Jello and chicken from Chick-fil-A, I suppose. But yeah, feeling pretty good right now. Feeling pretty good, cannot complain in the least. And uh, looking like the rest of the night is gonna look good, you know what I'm saying? Looking like the rest of the night is gonna be fun, looking like the rest of the night is gonna be good. Can't smoke until tomorrow morning, sadly. Or tomorrow, like, afternoon, roundabout, something, something like that. But, um, basically, just looking forward to, uh, enjoying the rest of the day. And, uh, gonna be editing a bunch of videos. Overall, though, I'm feeling good. Quitting for three days. It was, overall, challenging. Very challenging, of course. But, a lot less challenging than I thought it was gonna be, which is kinda crazy. So, I'm feeling a lot more confident now. When I actually wanna quit, I feel like maybe I can actually do it. Um, but I guess we'll have to find out tomorrow after I smoke my cigarette, you know what I'm saying? I guess we'll have to find out tomorrow, you know what I'm saying? Alright, y'all. Just, uh, woke up a couple minutes ago. It has now been about 69 hours. No, it's been about 70, 71 hours. Almost 72 hours, and I can smoke at 72 hours. I am honestly kind of scared to smoke at 72 hours. Teeth do still hurt, and I feel like I'm gonna get dry socket, but fingers crossed it'll be okay because I really, really, really wanna smoke. Overall though, I'm feeling fine. I'm feeling fine. Um, I'm not really feeling too bad. I will admit this, this whole like three day quitting thing was a lot harder, but also a lot easier than I thought. It was a lot harder in different ways than I thought it was gonna be. It was a lot harder than the whole uh, quitting for a day video. But it was also a lot easier in different ways, so it's very, very weird. I'll be talking about it a little bit more in a little bit though. I'm gonna go get myself some food, and uh, I'm probably gonna wait until like probably 75 hours, almost 80 hours to smoke, just, just to be careful, just to be careful. So, been an hour or two kind of thing. The plan is in about an hour, hour and a half, two hours kind of thing. I'm probably going to go out and smoke, um, have a cigarette, and record a little bit of a video on that. I'm not going to have that in this video, I do apologize. Um, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about quitting cigarettes for three days, not smoking my first cigarette in three days, which is going to be the video coming up tomorrow. But pretty much right now, I just wanted to go ahead and give my final thoughts on um, pretty much just my experience quitting cigarettes for three days, um, what I thought the hardest things were what I thought the easy stuff was, and uh, basically just giving you guys my final thoughts. The hardest things, in my personal opinion, wasn't even really wanting the nicotine itself. It was wanting the experience of smoking. The hardest thing for me was breaking my daily routine, straight up. My daily routine, as said, what is, is I get up, I eat breakfast, and I go for a walk and I smoke a cigarette. Breaking that and just being like, oh man, what am I, I get up out of bed and I'm kind of sitting here like, man, and I eat and I'm kind of like, what do, what do I do? I would go spend the next 15 minutes walking around my neighborhood smoking a cigarette. I don't do that now. I haven't done that for the last three days. I'm kind of like, what the hell am I doing with my time now? Um, it's also the, the, the second hardest thing I'd have to say is probably the oral fixation. I just constantly, constantly, and I mean, I mean literally constantly, it's not something that's like super difficult or anything, but it's just like a constant nagging kind of thing, and I haven't really talked about it throughout this video, and I really should have, but I don't think I really realized it until I was really thinking about what has been difficult kind of thing, and it was the constant want for an oral fixation, the constant want for a cigarette in my mouth kind of thing. The nicotine itself is nice, don't get me wrong, and that's probably the third largest reason why I want it, because just for the buzz and just for the niceness and just for the relaxation factor, but the oral fixation of smoking and just the enjoyment, the relaxation I just simply get from smoking anything is just nice. I wish I could have been, I wish it would have just been three days without cigarettes, not three days without smoking at all or something like that, because then I could have either hit a vape, I could have had a, a CBD cig or something like that. I, it, I'm, like, I'm just kind of looking at this and I'm just kind of like, oh my god. That whole missing the oral fixation as a whole is so, so, so difficult. I gotta be completely honest with y'all. Probably number three though, um, I already said, I said routine, the daily routine, that just not knowing what I, what to do with my time and the whole um, oral fixation, but probably number three is just wanting the nicotine and wanting the experience of smoking kind of thing and uh, having that enjoyment and feeling like myself kind of thing because for the last three days, it's been very hard to feel like myself. Um, and I, I genuinely uh, have attributed that in the video especially. Um, and it's probably the most distinct factor, but probably not the hardest thing about quitting nicotine. Um, it's probably just the most distinct factor about it. Um, is that I just haven't felt like myself because I haven't been smoking cigarettes or anything like that. 
Um, I would have to say that's probably been one of the hardest things this whole time is just not feeling like myself. I don't feel like myself without nicotine, which is really sucks. I, I love I love smoking cigarettes. I love nicotine kind of thing, but I wish I could feel like myself without it. But I simply can't. But it is what it is. Um, overall, though, I'm looking forward to smoking a cigarette in the next couple hours. This has been a very hard experience to try to quit over the last three days. Um, but it's been a lot less hard than I really expected, to be completely honest. Um, and I think this really it shows that I, I think I think this a whole video. I think I'm gonna look back on this in a, in a year or two when I'm really ready to quit. I'm not ready to quit right now. I don't really want to. Um, but I think I'm going to look back on this in about a year or two and uh, look at it and say, okay, if I can do it then, I can do it now. So um, I think that's going to be the plan at least. Thank you very much for watching this video, guys. Um, I'm, I'm very happy. I'm very glad that you guys have made it to the end. You know what I'm saying? Of course, I'm happy. I'm having the watermarks and not the watermarks, the like marks of which day it is and my final thoughts and all of that. So if you guys just skipped, well, respect. I highly recommend you guys watch the rest of the video, of course. But uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more content. I have my Instagram and my book in the description down below. Highly recommend you guys check those out. I have my merch as well in the description down below. This is the first time in four days I have said that, 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 that those words. It's been a crazy three days. It's been a crazy four days. But uh, yeah, 72 hours done. Time to smoke up again. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look forward to tomorrow's video. I'm gonna be smoking the first cigarette in three days. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Have a great one, y'all. Stay safe out there.